Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Jira Cloud tutorial, we will learn how to manage existing filters in Jira instance. So in the previous tutorial, I have already explained a brief about what are filters, how to create them, and the importance of filters in Jira. So if you, uh, if you haven't watched the previous tutorial, please go through it and watch it. Now in this tutorial, I'll explain how to manage your filters in Jira. So to open the filters or to basically get the list of all the filters that are available in your Jira instance. So I'm in the, uh, you know, home page sort of uh, where it lands on the browse projects at the moment. So to open filters, I can simply go to the filters drop down here and it will list all the filters that are available there at the moment. So not, not exactly all, but all the starred and the recent ones that are basically reported by, by me or, you know, open issues. But if I want to view all the filters, I can simply go to the view all filters and it will list all the filters that are available in this instance. Okay. So here you will see uh, in the left hand side, the starred ones are shown as the highlighted star. And then in the third column, you will see, you know, the access level. So basically which filters are private and not shared and which filters are, you know, the access has is basically allowed to certain project or roles. Okay. So that information is available here. Then how many persons have starred these particular uh, you know filters that have been created so that's another important information there now to search uh, so basically if i want to use these filters i can simply directly click on these filters and it will redirect me to the search query okay so that's how i can use those filters directly from the filters page so i'll go to the view all filters and then in order to update any filters, so for example, I want to update this particular filter, you just write uh, in the right hand side, go to the three ellipses and you'll see certain options there. So you have the manage subscriptions, you have copy filter, you have edit and delete, right? So to update the filter, I, I can simply go to edit and I can provide the name. So I can change the name or the description here and I can also update the, you know, the access level of this particular filter. So uh, it, at the moment it's private, but if I want to change the access level to say, for example, group, I can change it to group and then specify the groups there, or uh, I want to have the whole organization, anyone who is logged into this particular domain, I can add that, okay? Or I can just leave it as private or to a specific project. So for example, this project uh, gets, you know, access to this. So here's because there are no roles at the moment, so it's not showing. So just provide the access and click on add and it will select all roles, whatever roles will be there. So this particular project will have access to this particular filter. So that's how you edit or basically the update the filter. Okay. So um, the other option is say, for example, I want to completely change the query behind this particular filter. So what I can do is I can simply open the filter and then i can edit the query okay so for example here i want to have the issues that are only in done state and uh, all user stories assigned to me so i can simply change it and then what i have to do is i simply click on save to save on this particular in the same instance so i can simply click on save and the filter will be updated as per the new search criteria that you have defined here okay so then the next option is about deleting so here to delete the filter is also very simple simply click on delete to copy the filter i can simply click on copy and provide the name of the filter and then this description or any access level that i want to specify and click on copy and a copy of that filter will be created so if say for example you want to you have a complex query that has been written already you don't want to you know write that complex query again you copy the filter and then update the query that is within that particular filter right so for for example here now i want to update the query uh, for the same query for say for example bug and not the story so i can simply copy it rather than writing the whole query again and save it as a new filter okay 
so that's another advantage of you know having filter then the other important thing about the filter is that you can star filter or make it as as your favorite so if you go or if you log into jira and you go to the filters or view all the filters you have the option to star these filters from left hand side so if i restart or restart these filters or make these filters as my favorite i'll get these filters as starred at the top right so these you know filters starred filters will be available so that i can quickly access these filters now the other uh, important thing is say for example i want to uh, open a filter and then i want these columns that are displayed or the list of search items that are displayed by this filter in a specific order so for example i want key and then summary assignee reporter i want to change this so what i can do is i can go to that particular filter and i can change the order so what i have to do i simply have to change the order here okay so just drag and drop so basically say for example i want to have the created just after the summary okay so simply drag and drop as per your needs of the project and once you are satisfied that these columns is what you want then this order will be saved in the next search so now say for example this is the order summary created and updated and if i go back to filters and i'll come back to this filter again then that order will be sustained here okay so i don't have to do anything else you simply have to drag and drop as per the status that you want and now if you want to restore these columns to default simply go to the columns and you will see the restore default option here so if you click on restore defaults it will go to system defaults right so now you can see assignee reporter and everything as system default so that's another you know important thing to remember when you are working with filters um, the next option is around subscription of the filter so uh, how you can manage the subscription so we have briefly covered about the subscription as well so to manage the subscription if you go to the details you will get the subscription option for that particular filter so that's one way to basically create a subscription for the filter or if i go to the view all filters and here i have the option say for example for this particular filter i want to have a subscription then i can go to manage subscription now when we say subscriptions in a filter what it exactly means is that if you subscribe a list of person or you yourself subscribe to a particular filter then you will get notified about those uh, search filters or that search criteria at a particular uh, interval whatever interval that you choose so if i'll add a subscription so for example if i click on add subscription for this fil filter then i can either set it to personal subscription or in that case only i'll be notified or the person who is setting that notification will be notified or i can set it for a group of users so for example i want the jira software users whosoever is the member of jira software users to be notified daily about you know certain issues certain type of issues that get raised on a daily basis so i can write that particular filter save it i can write that query and save it as a filter and then i can come to the filter subscription and i can schedule that filter subscription so for example every day at you know so interval is once per day or every three hours you can choose the interval as well and then at a particular time say for example at 6 pm i want everyone who is the member of jira software users group to be notified by email with the issues that are being filtered out by this particular filter so what they'll get is they'll get an email every day at 6 pm uh, depending on your time zone and they'll be notified of the issues that are being fetched by that particular filter so this is very handy and very useful feature which will help you to be on track of you know say for example you are working in a support role and you want to always you know keep a track of critical 
issues or production issues then that's where you know email subscriptions or filter subscriptions are very useful so if you check this box here it will filter the results even if there are no issues found so if you don't want to send email if there are no issues found you simply uncheck that and if i'll click on subscribe then the subscription will be created and will will be available for that particular filter in the subscription section okay to edit the subscription click on edit to delete and to run at that particular time so for example i have created it and now i want to test it i can click on just run now and this filter or subscription will run at that particular time so that's a brief introduction about the filter and what all or basically how you can manage the filters in jira so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching